Do you ever wonder if your dog loves you? While extreme behaviors like biting or growling are clear signs of dislike, what are the subtle signs that your dog does not like you? Does their choice to sit in a different room imply a lack of affection? Or perhaps the enthusiastic greeting and big tail wags they reserve for others mean they love them and not you? Let's start with the obvious physical signs that your dog doesn't like you. One clear indication is when they cower, hide, or avoid physical touch from you. In more extreme cases of hate, they might tuck their tails or tremble when in your presence. In less extreme cases, you might notice their ears pulled back as a protective gesture. Just like you might instinctively tuck your arms if someone were to throw snowballs your way, dogs flatten their ears to keep them safe. Additionally, watch out for their fur standing up, particularly along their shoulders and spine, known as hackles. This usually occurs when the dog is alarmed. If accompanied by a hunching back or curling its back upwards, it's a definite sign that your dog is not feeling the love. They might also shy away or flinch when you touch them, or their body might go stiff as they actively avoid physical contact. Dogs that don't have affection for you won't be your cuddle buddy, nor will they cozy up for you for a nap. Another visual cue that your dog is not your biggest fan is the lack of greetings. We all cherish the tail wagging, joyous barks, and enthusiastic leaps we receive from our dogs when we return home. However, if this excitement is notably absent, it could indicate that your dog's affection towards you is lacking. Dogs naturally express joy, and the lack of it can suggest a strained relationship. While it's worth considering that a dog might be more excited by new people simply because they are novel, if your dog doesn't greet you at all when you come home, it's a red flag that they might not be too keen on you. On the note of avoiding contact, if your dog consistently leaves the room when you enter it, they might be intentionally trying to maintain their distance. Of course, occasional separation when you spend the whole day together doesn't necessarily signify hate. However, if a dog makes a swift exit every time you come in, especially if they avoid making eye contact, it's a strong indication they are not feeling the love. If your dog avoids making eye contact with you, it's a clear indicator that they may not be your biggest fan. This behavior often signifies their choice of flight over fight. They prefer to evade or ignore your presence rather than confront any discomfort they may feel. However, it's important to note that while lack of eye contact can suggest dislike, the opposite extreme can also be true. This is where it gets confusing, and you will have to watch for the subtle signs. If your dog seems to be constantly watching every move, it may not be a sign of affection, but rather a lack of trust. This type of intense observation is distinct from the attentive gaze or loving eye contact that dogs often display towards their favorite humans. Instead, it's more of a vigilant tracking stare, where the dog keeps a cautious distance and monitors your actions closely without actively engaging or following you around. This behavior stems from their underlying distrust rather than a genuine affection. In these cases, you might observe your dog giving you the side eye or displaying whale eyes where they turn their head away from you while still keeping you in their peripheral vision, often revealing the whites of their eyes. This subtle yet telling behavior further underscores their unease in your presence. Lack of loving eye contact isn't the only indicator of a dog's feelings towards someone. The absence of tail wagging also speaks volume. Tail wagging is an expression of happiness. So when a dog refrains from wagging its tail around a particular person, it's a sign of uncertainty or discomfort. While tail wagging intensity varies between different dogs, observing how they behave towards different individuals can reveal their true feelings. This might surprise you, but the direction of the wag matters too. Studies suggest that a wag to the left signifies suspicion or negative emotions like fear or stress. This type of wag occurs around unfamiliar or dominant individuals, signaling unease of the dog. I recently learned about this and decided to test it on my own dog. Calling him over, I watched his tail wagged happily to the right, indicating comfort and affection, even though he might have been a little annoyed that I interrupted his nap. I had to prove this theory. Moving beyond avoidance, dogs might outright refuse interaction with someone they don't fancy. One unmistakable sign is when they decline treats offered by the person they hate. Treats are a universal delight for dogs, so if they turn their nose up at one from you, it's a clear signal of discomfort. Sometimes, they might even show the whites of their eyes when they are avoiding looking at a treat that is being offered by someone they don't like. Keep in mind that some dogs are picky eaters. My own canine companion has refused treats like milk bones that didn't meet his high standards. However, 
If you have his favorite chicken jerky, he will take it as long as he doesn't hate you. Additionally, illness might lead to treat refusal, so it's crucial to assess treat acceptance on a person-to-person -person basis, not based on situations. Another red flag is the reluctance to play. If your dog ignores your attempts to play or opts to engage with someone else, it's likely they are not feeling the connection with you. Of course, fatigue could also play a role if you've been playing with your dog for an extended amount of time. Ignoring commands is another way dogs express their dislike. If your usually obedient dog tunes out a specific person, it could be a sign of lack of trust or affection towards that individual. Inconsistency, both in training and in the dog's behavior towards the disliked person, can indicate a deeper dislike. If your dog is affectionate with everyone but you, it suggests that they don't like your company and want to eliminate your interactions. Keep in mind that each dog has different level of interactions they prefer. On an emotional level, nervousness around you is a surefire indicator of dislike. Just like humans fidget or display nervous habits when uncomfortable, dogs may lick their lips or yawn excessively when they are uneasy, even when they are not tired. And if you thought that licks always meant that the dog likes you, remember that dogs can do an appeasement lick and lick someone they don't like when that person is trying to cuddle them or interact with them. Simply put, they hope they can lick that person once and get away. It's a plea to be left alone despite the act's usual association with affection. At this point, we have discussed physical cues, behavioral abstentions, and emotional expression indicative of a dog's feelings. However, I overlooked a crucial aspect, a dog's voice. Though they may not communicate like humans, increased vocalization can show dislike. Pay close attention to the pitch and tone of your dog's sounds. While a high-pitched bark shows excitement, a low-pitched growl could signal aggression and animosity. Some dogs might even attempt to assert dominance over the person they dislike. Another manifestation of dominance and dislike is when a dog engages in destructive behaviors targeted toward the individual they harbor negative feelings for. For instance, if your dog never touches your shoes but suddenly starts chewing up your girlfriend's shoes after she moves in, it could be a clear indication of dislike towards her. While it might not sound vindictive, it's essential to remember that dogs can't verbally express themselves, so they resort to actions to communicate with you. This might even go as far as urinating or defecating on the person's belongings. While it may seem like a regression in potty training, it's actually an expression of emotions. It's crucial to address these behaviors, but also important to consider why your dog is acting this way. Are there underlying issues they're picking up on? Does your partner treat them differently in your absence? Dogs are intuitive creatures, often sensing things humans might overlook, especially if they are in love. Have you noticed any of these signs of dislike in your dog? If so, remember that their hate could stem from past experiences. And there are ways to fix the bond using methods we explore in our How to Get Your Dog to Love You More video.